So yesterday I visited the Goldhawk Road in London with Elspeth for the day and I wanted to show you the fabric that I'd purchased so you could have a look and see what I was going to make with it. So the first thing I'm going to try is the Sew Over It and some blouse. This is a PDF pattern that I've ordered. Um, now if you follow Sew Over It on YouTube you'll know that Lisa Comfort, the lady in the picture there, she owns Sew Over It, has recently made the Anderson blouse in jersey fabric. She didn't like it, but I thought it looked really 80s and I absolutely loved it. So I've kind of gone halfway. It's designed to be made in a kind of drapey fabric like a crepe. So I've gone and found this jersey crepe. So you can't really see because it it's black, but it's like a stretchy crepe fabric. And I'm going to have a go at that and see what that looks like. So that's going to come up soon. And then saw this in a shop. Now, some people might think this is absolutely ghastly, but I thought this was just a little bit of fun. Um, it's a stretch jersey. It's um, not really a sweatshirt fabric. It's not got the um, thick, fluffy lining of a sweatshirt fabric, but it's quite lightweight, but I thought it would be quite good fun. Um, I'm going to make this sweatshirt here. It's a new look pattern, um, 6314, and I've made this sweatshirt already and absolutely love it. So I'm going to have a go with that, and I'm going to use um, just black jersey to do the banding on that. So I'll get that made up for you fairly shortly. Now this one I've wanted to try for a long time. It came free with Love Sewing magazine um, and I quite fancy um, the look of it. It's got the back here. I've actually got this printed out from the magazine. So you can see I'm quite fancy making that long sleeve dress there on the right. Now this is either going to turn out really slutty <laughs> or really nice. Um, it's really quite a strange fabric. It's um, a lycra um, jersey it's shiny um, and you can see it's got this gold glitter in it I think where the drapey crossover bits go across the body it's going to look really lovely um, but it is going to be super slinky and super figure hugging so as I say it may look super slutty or it might look really good we shall see this was only four pounds a meter and the gentleman didn't actually have enough change to give me my change so he actually gave me the whole lot for a tenner so that was good now the next one I've wanted to try for a long time is another sew over it pattern. I like their patterns. Um, I'm going to have a go at the ultimate trousers. Um, now there's no photograph on this pattern but I have seen lots of pairs that Lisa has made and they do look really lovely figure hugging um, cigarette style pants. So I thought I'd go for um, this lovely thick cotton. It's got a little bit of stretch in it which I think would be quite nice um, when you're making a pair of tight trousers. And I'm going to make them kind of 1940s um, cigarette pant style um, so I'll let you know how I get on with those then the next one I've been quite excited about again it's another thread count pattern this came free with Love Sewing magazine as well and I'm going to have a go of version B so you can see in the magazine here it's been done in three colours so I thought what better than to do a BTHQ dress so we're going to do my signature colours of brown, hot pink and lime green brown I'm going to have as the um, main part here and this is a silk dupion and this was I think about eight or nine pounds a meter um, I think the whole dress with the lining is going to work out about 25 pounds which I don't think is too bad for a nice party dress um, it's a simple dress just with um, princess plates princess darts in the front here um, and just a bit of gathering I think um, little pleated gathers at the front so that should look quite nice uh, for the summer so I'll have a go at that Last but not least, I picked up this pattern um, at the Spring Knitting and Stitch Show at Olympia um, by a company called Little Woolly. Um, the coat's really lovely um, and I saw it made up on the stand and I really liked it. So I want to have a go at making a coat. We've got permission to teach this pattern and I will, if it goes well, put this on as a class in the autumn. Um, so little Willie watch this place. I treated myself with this one. This is a beautiful wool. It was £24 a metre. So I've got two metres of it to make the coat. So it's going to be a £50 coat. But it is going to be lined with this um, satin, which was really cheap. This was only £3.50 a metre. Um, but it's a really nice quality. So there are some bargains to be had at the Goldhook Road. Before I make it and cut into this beautiful um, wool, I've decided I'm going to have a go, first of all, with this one. 
I'm going to call this my Mary Poppins coat because it reminds me of Mary Poppins' big um, Gladstone bag. So this was only £12 a metre, so I don't mind quite so much if this doesn't look how I expect it to look or it doesn't fit as nicely. Um, but I'd rather have a little go of a, a wearable twirl. It's a slightly lighter weight, so it will be more suitable for the autumn, whereas this one for the winter. So I'll keep you posted as to how I go and I'll post on the blog of the various things that I make. In the meantime, if you do want to go shopping at the Gold Hall Road, I can highly recommend it. See you soon.